Hey guys, well they actually filmed the cross dive scene and several of the extras cast in this movie are no stranger to the cross dive because they've actually done it in real life before. The co-directors and co-writers of this movie say they had to film this movie here in Tarpon Springs to be able to show off the city's rich Greek culture and heritage. Epiphany comes to the big screen in a way you haven't seen it before. Sisters Kula and Katina are the writer directors of the independent film that centers around a girl, Luca, who is desperate to have a better relationship with her father. It's been difficult for her to do that, to communicate to him. She is kind of a defiant girl and she's trying to get attention from her uncle and her father. So she feels that she uh, should be able to dive to get good fortune for, you know, the, her family, um, and she kind of sneaks in. And the movie's presence in Tarpon Springs is good fortune for those locals involved in it. That includes most of the extras who are thrilled to show off their hometown. I heard it through Facebook and I got to come out here with my friends. 20 year old Rhett Linton has dove for the cross three real times with many of the other extras cast alongside him. Yeah, I grew up with them ever since I was a little kid. Went to school with them at Tarpon High School. Yep, buddies for a long time. We wanted to make the most authentic movie that we could, and to us, you know, what's more authentic than, than real people? And action! The crew and cast will film in Tarpon Springs for three weeks, and those real people working to help make it happen are enjoying every moment of being in the spotlight. Yeah, it's a big honor. Everyone here is very professional. I'm having a great time, and it's good to be with my friends. And the St. Petersburg Clearwater Film Commission has been involved. They've been helping to find crews, film locations, amongst other things. It has also offered a film incentive, a small incentive, though nothing has been set in stone just yet. As you might remember, the state's film incentive program has dried up, so it's been difficult to bring movies to the state of Florida. But again, the co-directors and co-writers of this movie say they just had to film here in Tarpon Springs because it is where the real cross dive happens every January. And again, this movie, will be is set to open sometime next year. Mark and Kelly. Looking forward to the 